Welcome home. Welcome back. What world are you on? Such were the sayings across Cybertron. For all the lost colonists were returning. New friends for the making, with new names for learning. The quick Velocitronians, no one could beat. The little Devizens, all wanted to meet. The Eukarians, the Camions, and the Carcerian crew, all gathered in Iacon for a how do you do. And even the surliest Khan could agree. This city's much nicer now, even for me. But all this goodwill drew one giant huff from Starscream who said, They don't love me enough. Starscream turned to dead Bumblebee. They all love each other when they should all love me. I am the chosen one. I run this world. But wherever I go, only insults are hurled. Dead Bumblebee said that if Starscream were kinder, more people would like him without a reminder. But Starscream put on his Starscreamiest grin. He'd realized a way he could finally win. He called on Rat Trap, his favorite thug, to get him a camera, a chair, and a rug. He set up the stage with oh so much care. And making sure not to scowl and sure not to glare, he addressed all of Cybertron right then and there. People of Cybertron, hear what I say. Get ready to shout out hip hip hooray, for I bring you news of a new holiday. Tomorrow's officially chosen one day. And Starscream went on with many a gesture about how their love shouldn't just fester. Cybertronians, colonists, bots, cons, and others should think of themselves as sisters and brothers and express all the love that they felt for each other. With songs and with gifts, with abandon and glee, they should honor each other by honoring me. Starscream finished his speech with no time to lose and ordered Rat Trap to give it to the news. Unfortunately, Starscream's brilliant recording was thwarted by Circuit's slipshod reporting. For although they dutifully broadcast the tape, Longtooth cut off the end, which changed the whole shape of the speech that Starscream had given and ruined the aims for which he had striven. You have it right here, folks. A new holiday. Show someone close to you why they're okay. Be they coworker, friend, or conjux Endora. Show why you care with August Brevora. Starscream was livid. That circuit's an ape! That's not what I said! He cut off my tape! And Starscream bemoaned that the citizenry would be nice to each other. Instead of to me. But all the other bots loved the news. Both of the tankers got matching tattoos. Knockout and his conjucts went on vacation. And Slug took a moment to praise Blur's vocation. Windblade thanked Chromia for saving her life. And Lightbright agreed to be Sparkstalker's wife. Elita's soldiers threw her a parade. And his teammates brought Onslaught a brand new grenade. Yes, everyone was in the spirit of giving, happy to still be among the living. Woo! And everyone got into the spirit of fun. Well, everyone except one. For even as Chosen Day came to an end, no one had yet called Starscream a friend. And that bitter old Starscream stewed in his tower, getting madder each second and sadder each hour. He plotted his wrath and population reduction. He planned the entire planet's destruction. When suddenly, there was a knock at the door. Starscream looked up. Now who is that for? He creeped to the peephole and peeped with his peepers, and suddenly recognized somebody's features. 
for he threw open the door with an oily grin and invited the scientist Wheeljack on in. When asked why he came, Wheeljack replied, I came to see you, and I brought Ironhide. I brought a long windblade and good old rat trap. And behind them came Blur with Njax on tap. Air Razor, Moon Racer, Vanguish, and Fire Shot. The room filled to the brim with every last bot. With a tinkling of glasses, Wheeljack called a toast. To Starscream, for choosing not to boast. He gave us a day to be thankful and happy. Are all of his speeches really this sappy? Lord Starscream, we've thought with all of our might of what gift to give you of what could be right, of how to proceed and how to push on. He means we're giving you friendship. But But just just until until dawn. dawn. And true to their word, Starscream was given all the love for which he had striven. And they say that his spark, it shone so bright, he swore not to destroy them. At least, not tonight. Hey guys, just wanted to say thank you for 1,600 subscribers. You guys are awesome. I've got plenty more dubs like this on the horizon, so be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, stay tuned.